In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about Ballotpedia and some of the content and information that it offers. We're going to go over the candidate connection feature. Um, and so this link takes you, if you're a candidate, to the questionnaire and the survey. Every year, Ballotpedia will send this survey to incumbents, people who have won a primary election, people who haven't filled it out yet, they'll resubmit it. And it asks them all sorts of questions about them. And let's find the link. Okay, so uh, this gives more, what I'm scrolling through is what is helpful to somebody who would be taking the uh, connection candidate report. Um, it'll publish the connection report for anybody who wants to look into the candidates. And it'll give you data on how many people filled it out by state. It'll compare by office, um, within offices, uh, meaning state legislatures, county positions, school boards, right, uh, special districts. Um, so they really get quite uh, granular with this comparison data that they provide. They also note in their main homepage link for showing their report information, notable survey respondents. So because I love Jasmine Crockett a lot, um, we're going to look at hers. And so she is somebody who filled it out. Uh, that's when they say notable respondents, they're the, the people that filled their survey out the best out of everybody this year who sent one in. So um, her entry will likely have a lot more information about her because she's filling it out. And this is actually a really great way for candidates to put themselves out there to a really broad audience. Um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, Ballotpedia is appealing to the expert election person who already knows a lot of topics, who's a, a politics junkie, to the person who doesn't really know a whole lot um, and it really just looks at presidential elections. So they um, put themselves in this database so people can get to know them in a context that they might not necessarily get to know them in. So, um, and one thing I wanted to point out is if you're in Ballotpedia and looking at candidates or elected officials, and there's this little icon right there, that means that they filled out the survey and um, they note that, you know, to, so you can look up more about the candidate if they're, especially if they're um, the up and coming candidate or if they're the incumbent, you can really get to know these people. Um, so, and look, a whole bunch of people from uh, Jasmine Crockett's district filled it out because, you know, why not? It puts you, you know, a lot of eyes will see this, this page. So um, it's, you know, a kind of a no brainer, I would think. So it shows all of the different primary runoffs that she had, and then the people who she would face on the Republican side. So um, it's just really it's really, really granular. It goes into her 2020 election. Um, and it goes into her campaign finance content. I'm not sure if she fills this out or if Ballotpedia just puts it there. I'm assuming that because it's the report that she puts that in there. So that's kind of helpful that the data is provided regardless of who um, puts it there. So and then as you keep scrolling down, um, they'll so campaign themes are just uh, some of the themes that, that will come up through the different surveys that that um, she, she takes. So um, if in 2022 she talks a bit about, um, you know, uh, one topic, it'll note it. Um, and if you go all the way or, or almost all the way to the bottom, they have um, questions that are not just data open and they're open-ended questions. So, um, and they're kind of fun questions. Um, you know, what legacy would you like to leave? Um, what's your favorite book? 
Uh, that's a great one, by the way. Um, you know, if you could be any fictional character, who would you be? So if, you know, they don't just ask the, you know, resume and, you know, CV of a candidate, they ask them, you know, who are they as a person? So it, you know, it really gets very, very specific, um, with them. And I, I like it when candidates fill this out so I can learn more about them in my research makes it a lot easier. So that is Jasmine Crockett. And let's go all the way to the bottom. Um, they'll also break down people who filled out the survey and who won their race in the office that they, that they um, ran for. So, and then they give you, of course, a little bit about the race. Um, you can also, they'll, if you go further into the candidate connection, they'll give you additional information on the methodology of questions, um, the full candidate survey, and then uh, footnotes they always have where it's different uh, sources that they, they have used. So this is just a really neat feature of Ballotpedia to help make decisions on who to vote for and um, to get, you know, just who these people are. There's always so many names in elections. It's sometimes overwhelming to know who is running for what and which office. So um, that will be all for today. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I will see you all later. Have a great day, friends. Bye.